uh, wrestling fans around the world, for those of you that have been paying attention in our local news and news around the world, uh, we go to Brandon Dooling. Dooling, would you like to give us an update of what's going on? Um, all right. I'm, um, I'm, I'm not exactly, I, I don't exactly know every specific detail about what is going on, but um, we here at uh, WCC wanted to uh, start this one off by um, uh, s- uh, sending our condolences and kind of giving a shout out to the people um, affected by Hurricane Isaac with the, uh, with, uh, with the catastrophic damage that it has done, with, uh, with thousands of people not able to go back to their homes, and um, whatever was left, especially New Orleans, whatever was left of New Orleans after Katrina and the BP oil spill, um, I, I know it's a really tough time for you guys. We just wanted to uh, send our condolences, our thoughts and prayers are with you, and um, we will we will um, we will be uh, trying to keep ourselves updated on it. So speak. God uh, speed, everybody. Godspeed. Thank you, Dooling. Uh, back to our show. Uh, wrestling fans and around the world, my name is El Cibernetico, along with Mr. Jones, all the way from Ohio. Hey, what's up, everybody? What's up, WCC? Uh, Jones! Jones! First yo. of all, before we start, I got to ask you a question here. All right. Shoot. Fucker. Were you partying with Cameron over the weekend? Because she got suspended for 14 days. You know, I, I didn't want to bring this up. You know, we had we knocked back a couple, and, you know, I told her I would meet her at the hotel, and, you know. I told, I her, told you, know, you you could take Naomi. You, just leave Cameron for me, though. That's the thing. But see, but see that booty, that booty, is it, 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 like a magnet, you know. So, yeah. I, my, my, you know, I had to go. Pursue it, you know what I mean? I mean, <laughs> looking good like a Snickers bar. Mm. Uh. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. She, they're both gorgeous, but, uh, yeah, Cameron does it for me. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Cameron decided to go out doing a little drinking, drinking without me and you. And apparently she ended up getting pulled over. She decided to tell a cop, hey, you know what? Let me give it 10 Gs and let me get mm. out of this. And by the way, I think she even lied about saying she even worked for WWE. I think she said she was something else. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So you mean to tell me that she lied and said, oh, I'll, I'll do something else. Now, now here's the funny part, because I know Vince probably got word back to it. So, so you mean to tell me you don't work for me? Huh? <laughs> Who do you think you are? <laughs> You gotta mm, put that's who, terrible. Do, who do you think you are with a little more tone, you know? Who do you think you there are? You <laughs> there you go, exactly. No, but apparently she ended up telling cops, you know what, I don't work for WWE, here's 10 Gs, how about you guys let me go? Mm. Look, now, I'm, so, I'm sorry I, I'm sorry to say this, but if you rolling anywhere and you got 10 Gs on you and a cop pull over, pull you over, and you say you don't work for the WWE, and you got 10 Gs on you, mm. Sound like a little paperwork, don't you think? <laughs> By the way, uh, what kind of woman carries 10 Gs in her pocket like nothing? I'm just saying. I, I, I won't even touch that. I'll, uh, the ladies of the WWE, uh, WCC, uh, you might want to answer that one. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I'm, I, that's a question that our divas could, you know, post up on, on Facebook and Twitter. Jumping into the TNA news, did you know, officially, officially, Luke Gallows signed a, a contract with TNA? Yeah, um, I, hey, all I got to say is good luck to you, bro. You know, I'm I'm actually excited, because he was actually good in, in, in when I saw him in WAE, but TNA is going to be his new home now. Mm. I don't know. You seen what happened to Chavo? It's not even a full month yet. Well, we're we're talking about TNA, and you unfortunately you gotta let everything unravel. It just slowly ravel. I mean, so. Yeah. I mean, Chavo. I mean, we we're still waiting for Chavo. 
but make his big push. I mean, TNA did the right thing by getting Chavo. So, and I, who knows? They may be doing the right thing by getting Luke Gallows. Right. Oh, man. Are you guys ready for this? For those of you that were paying attention, guess what, Sean? Eve Torres won Stars and Stripes on NBC. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you even watch? Because I'll admit, I didn't even watch. Yeah, I saw some of it. Apparently, Stars and Stripes is a kind of a boot camp where uh, celebrities end up uh, trying out, see if they could do and accomplish the same goals that uh, our U.S. Marines and everybody else of the military. Apparently, these celebrities try to do the same thing and win some cash prizes. But good old Eve Torres beat people like Dean Cain. Wow. You said Dean Cain? Dean Cain, a.k.a. Superman. No, not John Cena, but Superman. Okay, I, I, was, I was making sure I heard that right. Dean Cain? He, he, Dean he, Cain? He, he, is, he, is, he is Superman. <laughs> it was. Dean Lois Cain and Clark. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you mean you didn't tell me you didn't watch Lois and Clark right after Family Matters on Friday night, TGIF? Uh, I had school. So. On a Friday night. I, Oh, you said Friday night. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I do. I do apologize. I thought you said Thursday. What kind of school you be going on a Friday night? Wink, wink. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, I got class. What class? My other we'll see, class. We'll, 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 we'll see. There's certain people that may be listening, and I don't want them to know. So, you know, chug, chug, chug. Um, but moving on. <laughs> moving on. I wish we had some sound effects. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin has claimed that he's in rehabilitation right now and is planning to make a return. WrestleMania 29. Could the rumors be true? CM Punk versus Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know what? I could see that actually happening. And you know what? He's been he's been real rehabilitating his his uh, knee. That and that was one of the reasons why he wasn't at Raw uh, 1000's uh, episode. Right. And for for him to go up against CM Punk, wow. Rumors are claiming it it would be Austin and Punk, but remember, it is the WIC Internet World Community. But seems to me this might happen whether it be Punk or somebody else. If it ain't Punk, who is it going to be? Good question. That is a that is a good question. How about this? Could you see him going up against Undertaker and breaking the streak? You know, that that that's a tough and that's a good point. With Undertaker's streak, do, who wants to have that label on him? I mean, and who would Undertaker actually fall to? Right. You know, I mean, we all thought he was going to fall to Triple H in, in, in the whole era. Right. So to speak, to have Stone Cold do it, it it sounds good on paper, but uh, I may have to roll with with the Rock on this one because there's been a lot of speculation with him. Right. And they're saying like you know, oh the Rock is gonna be the one to end it, but I mean if Stone, but yeah, I think Stone Cold and Undertaker worked together, you know, during the Attitude Era. And who who better to have someone from your era that in your type of style of wrestling work together to make a good good match? Exactly. Um, the reason I also brought this up is because you know everybody's been talking. The streak is gonna probably go all the way to thirty and O. I mean, uh, yeah, that's a little what ten more years to go, basically. I I'm not. Uh, 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 Hey, I'm gonna say this and shout out to our CEO. Not on duty. <laughs> not, not on duty. On duty, I, exactly. I, I, I'm sorry, but Triple H had to carry that whole entire match. And yeah. Even on the 1000 episode, did did you see the 1000 <laughs> episode where where Undertaker? It looked like Undertaker was struggling to get up. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like, oh God, slam! <laughs> like, dude, are you serious? Oh. Yeah, man. I mean, that is 
completely bogus. And, you know, from these last outbreaking stories, the last one goes out to Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan been teasing on Twitter that he wants to bring the click back. And have him part of it. Wait, 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 wait. You, you, you said Matt Morgan. Matt Morgan, the, the blueprint? Yes, the da, 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 da. bodyguard. <laughs> Matt Morgan. Wow, want to get the click back together. Right. We're talking about Hunter H. Wow. Kevin Nash. Mm-hmm. Scott Hall. Chug Chug. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And 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 cross-eyed at Shawn Michaels. Okay. Oh wow, he he really got high hopes there. Uh, I I I'll give him that. Apparently, him and uh, Kevin Nash have been buddy buddy on Twitter. So uh, lately, they just been fucking with everybody's heads, talking about, oh, let's do this, let's bring the click back. Well, I'll say this. If they do get the click back together, it will not be on WWE. Mm. Now, he said he wants to get the click back together. It's, I, 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 I highly doubt that he will. it won't happen on WWE's time. If anything, it will go to TNA. And the reason why, TNA will let you do whatever the hell you want. Right. Well, I mean, apparently, Triple H is supposed to be taking over in October. You're right. Could you see this happening? I mean, hey, it's like, I'm the boss. Let's bring the band back together, boys. Wow. <laughs> I mean, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't, don't get, don't get me wrong. I like seeing Hunter in the ring on WWE. He, 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 he is the game without a, without a question. Kevin Nash, he's good on the mic. That's cool. Shawn Michaels, I'm, I'm a huge fan of his, but I just do not see him getting in the ring, doing it one more time. It's too, it's too much. And then having Scott Hall there, how are you going to get the band back together without Scott Hall? Right. You know, I mean, un- unless you have his son, Cody, you know, slap a wig on him, call him, hey, Chico, oh, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, and then you got, and then you have to add Sean Waltman, X Pac, Six Pac, Pac, whatever you want to call him. You, <laughs> you have to add him to him too. I mean, he's part of the clique too. All right. Unbelievable. Monday right. night right. started off with a good bang. Oh man, the first hour was decent. It wasn't that bad. Uh, we started off with uh, champion versus champion in the ring. One champion claiming he wants to fight. The other one claiming he wants respect. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, I believe so. Wah! Good old CM bitch. Wah! That's right. I <laughs> called him a bitch. <laughs> That's terrible. Nah, it's, it's true, dude. This guy got annoying, man, already. I'm sorry. For all you CM Punk fans out there, don't hate me. Follow me at Bizarro626 on Twitter. But yeah, don't hate me. Seriously, this guy, he ended up being a bitch. I mean, dude, every night now it's the same old thing. I want respect, guys. It's like, uh, yeah, what did have you done for the last year now? Just bitch about shit? I want my ice cream bars. Didn't get it. I want to do this and that. Didn't happen. Wah! I mean, I don't know. I mean... You got. You have to say he. We, they were in his hometown. Right. So I mean. Oh man! Shout outs to everybody in Chicago. That's fucked up. You went to go see your hometown hero, and he didn't even fight. Are you serious? Well, that's CM Punk for you. Mm-mm. CM Punk versus uh. Well, it was supposed to be CM Punk versus Sheamus. That didn't happen, obviously. But uh, your buddy came back, Jack Swagger. The American Man, I am Jack Swagger. Also known as Dennis the Menace on WCC, uncensored every Monday night, but yeah. But I'm the un-American American. <laughs> Let's bring in Maurice. Maurice, Maurice, tell me, 
What's going on with Dennis the Menace? Oh, yeah. Oh, we're talking Dennis the Menace, huh? Uh, uh, apparently, he want he want him some time off because he's tired of being a jobber, and he's going to try and see if WWE will somehow bring him back to relevancy. Uh, Jack, just for the record, uh, that ain't going to happen. <laughs> um. And wait, 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 Maurice, you're telling me that a former world heavyweight champion will never be champion again? Yeah, uh, um, in the words of Chris Jericho, never, ever again. That's fucked up. The first world heavyweight champion not getting a push ever again. That's some bullshit right there, too. But then again, it is Jack Swagger. Enough said. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Like, dude, yeah, yeah. What Michael Cole says that the greatest thing you've ever done in your career was be my trainer for WrestleMania in a comedy match against the King. That lets you know where your career is and has been. Mm mm. Mm mm. That was that. That's a double mm right there. Mm mm. That, no, that's that's one of those big mamas. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> he said it, well, not you me. Are not, oh, y'all, uh, mm-mm. oh, it. Uh, just for the record, about the whole Cameron thing. Um, it, um, I was oh, going oh, to do oh, like oh, the whole now, now hey, yo. Start two, right? That I was like, I was like, oh man, I was like, come on, now I gotta. Now I gotta go two weeks without no Funkadactyls. Damn. You gotta go two weeks with no ass. <laughs> yeah. I was about to say, at least, at least if one good thing comes out of this, I don't get to see Brutus wrestle for two weeks. So there we go. Mm-mm. Unbelievable. We break it down all the way back to Missouri. Brandon Dooling, your best friend. Your boy, The Miz, on commentary. Your thoughts? Wait, since when was The Miz my boy? And one thing I'm going to call Jack Swagger. Now he's not your boy. All... Really, doing Now he's not your boy? Come on now. I thought you guys were awesome. <laughs> I, I'm, 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 I'm sorry. Since, since, when do I, since when do I like to be friends with anybody from the real world? Ooh. 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 He's on fire tonight. Continue, continue. Oh, speaking of Jack Swagger, I have one thing to call him. Mm. Yes. I have one thing to call Jack Swagger. The mic's yours. Okay. Sure. Notice how he's going into the back room. <laughs> he's like, Mama, don't hear me now. Dennis, the all Amera job, Amera job. Oh, and um, what else I can say? <laughs> dang, dang, I don't, dang, I don't usually choke like that. Oh wow! Uh-oh. I I would say something this on not my night. Uh, oh, what what I was gonna say was, I'm surp- I'm surprised Cameron got 15 days for the DUI. I'm, I'm a bit surprised about that. Mm. I'm not um, surprised. I really am not. Because Although gotta... another thing about Brodus not wrestling two weeks, um, I, I can't remember what event it was when Naomi had a match against uh, Natalia, and like a lot of people said, it was a very good match. Naomi apparently has a lot of potential, and you know she she and from what I'm hearing, she's got really good skills in the ring, right. and not just uh, knowing how to dance. Mm-hmm. So maybe that could be another good thing. Maybe they could let her kind of on her own and show what she can do in the ring. Bringing it back to uh, Miz, uh, what did you think about Miz last night on commentary? I mean, he was pretty good, don't you think? Um, why did they have a, did anybody else notice that they had it sound like a faith commentator? Kind of? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He, he, was trying to play, he was trying to really even it out, and I, I, yeah. I appreciate Miz doing that. And then we gotta think, he, once again, he was from a reality show, so the only thing he knew knew how to do was play kind of both both the roles. True. 
all I'm going to say is, it's like I never thought Michael Cole would be arguing with him. That's like, this is to him what Tim Tebow would to Skip Bayless. Ooh. We talked about it on the Facebook page. It's like, but let's see. Both of them, both of them probably dream about them at night. And sorry. My God. Um, Sean. Really? Did you like the Miz or not? Yeah, Miz. He did a good job. I'm not. I'm not gonna complain. Like Miz, anything he does is, and I hate to use his catchphrase, awesome. Oh yeah, he was awesome. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I never really been a Miz although, support. Although, like, although he 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 kind of matched up with Michael Cole. Right. Man. Damn. I mean, I, I mean, I, I've never been an actual an actual full Miz supporter. I'm not gonna lie; he's in my little bunch where I hate, including. Now I know, I know, Brian. I mean, Brian, Brandon. I know, I know you love Edge, but yeah, he's in that pot too. Wait, a minute, you said Edge? Yeah, they're in my shit list right now. <laughs> no comment. Exactly. <laughs> Don't worry, I got my reasons why. But yeah. Moving on, Ryback is back. Going up against Jinder Mahal last night, Monday Night Raw. Finally. Finally, Finally. got his hands on him. Yeah, and the match needed to happen because I, I swear, man, I hate seeing this long ass nose motherfucker get. I'm, I'm sorry, I did not mean to say that. <laughs> he said it, not me, Ryback. No, no, I wasn't talking about right back, I was talking about Jamal the Hall. Oh, yeah. uh, then I agree. Fuck yeah. <laughs> he went from no, Jinder Mahal to Jinder Mahal Hall. Right, exactly. Cause like, I'm like, you come out here talking all that shit, and you don't even fight right back. I mean, at least Jack Swagger took it to him. Mm-hmm. You but then again, this then again they, they treat him like a jobber all the time. That Mahal is as much as Swagger. So, I don't know. I, or, or better yet, as I like to call right back, Goldberg and Schwarzenegger. Uh, I, I'm sorry. Everybody said right back is Goldberg. And, okay, well, yes, the whole domination, dominating match thing, maybe. But right. when, you look at, when you look at right back, he is more physically better than, than Goldberg. He's more physically Although he seems fit. just as stiff. Well, I mean... When you just look at when you look at right back and you look at Goldberg, who do you actually think will win? Right back. Exactly. I mean, can right back go undefeated for over a year? Like, well, no. uh, what? <laughs> crap! I'm. Go ahead. Go ahead and speak. Sorry. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go, just go. Uh, I mean, like, but him to dominate like Goldberg did, though. And especially in WCW, I mean that's that's a pretty steep hill to climb. Mm-hmm. It is, but like anything, anything, and anything can happen. Wow. But yeah, I'm I'm actually I was excited when he finally got his hands on on, on a long ass snow motherfucker. <laughs> you know who you know who we should really face this coming week, or you know who we should really face this coming Friday. Have him face Sandow. I wonder how that would go. Hmm. Mm. You mean you tell me Maurice is actually going to get this one right? That uh, we could see a push here where Sandow just knocks fucking right back off his feet? I would love. Sorry. Wait a minute. You're rooting for Sandow to beat Ryback? Yeah. I said it would make sense for Sandow to beat right back. Oh, the thing, man, because you got the brain versus the court. Well, uh, and I don't personally call it. We can call him this, but it would kind of be like you have the brain against the Neanderthal. It's like against the brawn. And we already yeah. saw how that worked with Brodus Clay. <laughs> Tim. Yeah. Well. Well, Brutus Clay, yeah, he he would be, I mean, he would be like a a Neanderthal. 
Neat. Yeah, because we all know how that goes, man. But um, Paul, I'll go ahead. I know, I was done. Oh, uh, Paul Martin, you still here? Hey, yes, I am. All right, dude. It's one on one. Right back versus Jinder Mahal. Who are you going for, and why? Um. I would actually go with I would actually go with uh, right back on this one because uh, he has had more TV time than Ginger Mahal and Ginger is uh, just kind of like a chopper for All now right. and he don't really kind of you know uh, sound like a good fit in my opinion but then it's like I haven't really you know seen him much so so uh, I right. would ask, just go with right back. All right, let me cut you off right there. Now, right back okay. versus Sandow, one on one. Sandow is a upcoming star, which he already is. He has the mic skills, he has the charisma to piss you off, right. and uh, uh, and the thing is that he kind of makes me think of a very young uh, Triple H when he started in WWE when he had his hair back and you know being that uh, the Connecticut blue blood. Yeah. Yeah, that uh, he kind of makes me think of you know that character, and also he kind of has a little hint of Jesus with the beard, but uh, uh, like that's Sam just Punk did, uh, yeah, um, early twenty ten. Yeah, with the um, uh, Straight Edge Society. Hmm. Sean, do you agree with these gentlemen? Will Sandow knock the fuck out on right back? I have to say no. Absolutely Why is that? Not. Why is that? Ryback Why is, is, that? A po- Ryback is a powerhouse. I mean, you you ha- you, you got to go with the powerhouse. I mean, yeah, oh, whoa, have- whoa. I, I, are you going back to the days back when Gorilla Monsoon used to brag about all the big dudes? Rest in peace, Gorilla. But yeah, I'm I'm just saying like this, and and I'm looking at it like this, and and I'm breaking I'm breaking it all down because one, I'm a, you know I'm a writer, and two, I look at all angles. Mm-hmm. Ryback will appeal to more kids than, you know, Sandow. Mm-hmm. You know, the kids went, oh, crush him, crush him, beat him up, beat him up. You know, they, they're looking at that roughness. You know, they're you right. know, that's appeal to kids. And plus, you know, I don't know if he had a shirt. I heard that he had a shirt now. Right. And, you know, that's going to go well. Uh, yes. Is it a Feed Me yeah. More shirt? Yeah. yeah. I'll probably get it for a fat guy. That looks pretty good, don't you think? By the way, does anybody else think his finisher should be called the Feeding Frenzy? Seems as I would like to say Feed Me More. Oh. All the time. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you come up with these things from? Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. His theme song is called Meat on the Table. He says Feed Me More darn near every five or six seconds. Sure. What, what would you call it? I really, I wouldn't have like no. I really, I would have no idea what the hell I would call it. <laughs> Let's see. I came up with some names like Sin City Breakdown, Rye Backlash. I mean, just, you could come up with a laundry list of names for the finisher. God damn, Dylan! Do you have that much free time? No, because I no, cause I, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all the, no, that, no, all the days have to work. Don't, 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 don't take it the wrong way, Dwayne. I mean, I'm not going to lie. That, that You're very creative. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm really, really trying to get at. You're very creative. You you come up with some crazy ass shit off the top of your dome. I'm like, God dang. Mm, don't tell me that none of, don't tell me that none of you do that either, because all of you are very creative as well. I'll um, admit, so, to sit down and write. Like that? No, I, I can't. No, I don't even write these down. But just think about it. Mm, you even yeah, think about well, it too. Oh, we do, but yeah, we don't do it like we don't do it like a twenty-four-seven thing, no. <laughs> well, it's not even really twenty-four-seven. It's just the time I get off of work, you know, or or the time that I'm kind of thinking about like potential tag team names or things like that. But anyway, enough about me. Let's so you're like, no, 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 let's, let's stick to this. Let's stick to this. Let's just talk about the average fan. So you're telling me it takes about an hour to get to work or back home. So you're sitting on the bus, and then you're like, hmm, what could be a good finisher for Ryback? Oh, let's put I don't this. know. Like, some of the names are pretty stupid, though. 
I mean, not, I mean, some of the names are stupid. Not, They're, not to put, you, not to put you on blast, but why don't you share? I mean, like the fact that at one point I called it. I, me and my friend usually will talk while we'll talk to each other on the phone while watching. At one week we called it the Sin City Spike. Another week we called it the Sin City Breakdown. Another week we called it the Live Backlash. Another week we called it the Sin City Destroy. We've been calling it basically trying to call it everything under the Sin City sign. Mm, not bad. See, now the reason why I said that, the reason why I said that is for you WWE mole that's been checking out WCC Uncensored Show, TNA's Recipe, The Overload Show, The Breakdown. Yeah, I got my eye on you. Give us a royalty check, by the way. I got my eye on you. Dylan just gave you a good list right there. Dylan just gave you a fucking good list right there. And you're telling me that he's not going to get one penny? Are you fucking serious? Y'all really, deserve bro. more than I do, and y'all haven't gotten your check, so why would they really be mine? Oh, just just no, well, just first of all, they got to wait till he actually uses one of them damn names. <laughs> just mark this, <laughs> mark this on your calendars. Tuesday, September 4th. It is about 7, no, 8.24 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Remember that, people. Doing said it first. So if you hear it, you know where they got it from. Yeah. yeah. Or if they call or if, uh, Cody Rhodes and Damian Sandow team up, and they get called the uh, Rhodes Scholars or anything like hmm. that or some other names that other people have come up with. We still haven't gotten our royalty checks. Exactly. Moving oh, on wait. to royalty, Alberto Del Rio sat down for commentary. He ended up interfering in Sheamus' match. His boy, Ricardo Rodriguez, took a sick bump into the second corner. Mind you, bounced back up and got one of the most vicious, and I mean vicious, bro kicks ever. Did you guys see his face when he looked up? That fool looked like he got kicked all the way back to the Mayan civilization. Yes. (laughs) Maurice, Maurice, you follow these guys all the time. Is he okay? You know, to be honest with you, I have not heard a report on it, but truth be told, I, w- I would be very surprised if um I would be very surprised if he didn't need because when I saw when I saw like the um when I saw like a replay of it because like actually I missed missed the wrong like early but um when I saw the replay I was like the first thing I wanted to do is like where's the um where's the um soccer announcer yelling go oh hell <laughs> 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 yo, because Ricardo's head, all yo, Ricardo's head was literally looking like um, Cristiano Ronaldo or like Messi or Beckham, and like somebody just blasted it. No, ser- seriously, you knew Ricardo took a hit because the reels went from character to serious. I was like, oh, like what the fuck happened? You know, is he okay? Like, please check on him. And he's just like looking at everybody. Come on, like do something. Don't just pretend. You know. I mean, he looked. I mean, he looked worse off. He looked worse than Del Rio did when he got his concussion at the hands yes. of Ali. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Sean, how, but even how, then, Del Rio's or or what I was. Or, sorry, I was. Sean, how serious was this to you? Uh, I looked at. I'm like, shit. I someone need to call his mama. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> mm, someone need to call or someone need to call his. Uh, Somebody need to call uh, his doctor. My God, I mean, someone, poor someone, dude. Someone need to call. Someone need to call the emergency squad. His mama. Someone need to call the Paul Bear. Like this, brother. Underlay, underlay. Exactly, more than underlay. That's a double underlay right there. Seriously, this guy got knocked the fuck out. Poor. <laughs> no, that's an understatement, dude. That's an understatement. That's okay. I mean, he never died. Ziggler, How about that? couldn't died. sell a bro kick like that. I mean, hopefully he's okay. But dude, seriously, he got fucked up. Like I was like, God dang. And that's what he I love was, about some of you guys too. I mean, they're willing to take a bump like that. You gotta respect that. Oh, you have to respect. Man, he took one of those bumps like if you saw on Jackass. Like yes. damn. <laughs> yes, big time. <laughs> You know what? For some weird reason, I wish I knew a little French. Have you guys listened to Antonio Cesaro's music? Uh, yeah. We 
we miss you. That's a sick ass beat. And it's like, I don't know what the hell the guy is saying. He could probably be talking shit about my mama and shit. But I'm like, <laughs> damn, that shit sounds badass. Oh, wait a minute. Did he get a ch- Oh, what did you- Oh, did he change it from the Malenko thing? Or is, yeah. he-, or is he still. Oh. Yeah, it's-, it's some French Canadian hip hop group. I know that. Is it sort of like a rap version of Maurice's theme when she, when she was oh. in WWE? Oh, no. Well, in wait, some wait. Way. wait. No, 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 no. What I mean by that is like, like. Like it sounds like a French Canadian rap, like you said. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's yeah. what kind of was. I want to see if they got like. Yeah, hey, I will. I will say this: a, a French, French, and Germany have the sickest beats when it comes to hip hop. Believe it or not. Right. I must say, WWE. They may. They, they, I'll tell you what. WWE is surely a melting pot. It's certainly diverse. Where else can you have a a sweet? And where else can you have a guy from Switzerland have a French Canadian rap as his team? I know, right? And beat uh, United States champion, by the way. And ouch. defeat an Italian, supposedly, for said <laughs> championship. And have a Lithuanian girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> and have a Lithuanian girlfriend that a sock puppet is attacked, is attracted to. Who almost married Golda, by the way? And who had blonde hair back then. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Totally and a sock puppet that I'm surprised Santino doesn't use to chase her away from the ring, <laughs> considering how attracted that cobra is to her. And don't forget it, from last night either. Don't forget last night. Apparently she was a hoe. Apparently to the Chris team ring it. <laughs> what was she wearing the uniform? Not yet, but I heard. Nah, probably not. Not that night. Moving on, Zack Ryder ended up being. Slate Slater, when did this happen? Wait, 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 wait! Didn't this happen like a, a few weeks ago as well? Like, no, no, this was last like, night. When did this happen? Oh, wait, that's right. They forgot to fill in a match. That's right. I forgot. That's when they took over with that whole Vicky and uh, AJ thing. Yeah, thanks a lot. Mm. Zack Ryder beat Slater. Now, now here, now here's the thing. Here's a question. I think I think we brought it up a couple times, but I still no one really still hasn't answered it because Jersey Shore is, is canceled. canceled. Wait, but didn't well, Zack Ryder already have the gimmick before that? Yes, but it wasn't popping until Robbie E brought it out. AKA the poor man Zack Ryder. If you want to go there. That's Brandon Dooling at BrandonDooling.com. <laughs> well, it's going to be like them five, 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 five uh, fictional character numbers. They're going to be like, but where's the website? <laughs> oh, man. Moving on. The main event time. Alberto Del Rio versus John Cena. Ah. That was John a good- Cena. John Cena. You know what? I I don't like John Cena, but I I, I like that match. I it was crazy. That's, that was one of the matches I would say that Alberto was very ruthless. Strong. He was well, he was he, he was he was, try, he was getting John Cena's all like. Now where was that Alberto about a year ago? Was that before? That Alberto didn't have didn't have his ring announcer knocked the fuck out though. Think about that. Hold, hold on. Was that before or after Triple H told him, "Hey, stop acting so cool, man"? Ooh. I'm just saying. Who was this? Who was this? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Is this inside the ring or outside the ring? Why not both? I'm just saying. I mean, if you guys noticed the the little feud he had with uh, Edge, believe it or not, it was pretty good. It was decent. It, oh, it was yeah. it was cracking. I, I, right. I liked it. It was cracking. Right. But then it's oh. like somebody must have told him, "Hey, dude, can you just chill out on the on that whole barrel?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the okay. way, anybody else think CM Punk has one of the toughest kicks, toughest knees in wrestling? I mean, think about that. It was able to put down a man who got back to plus through through the announce table and still kicked out. Fuck CM bitch, man. (laughs) Wow, he must have the most powerful knee in all of mankind to take out a man who just got put through the announce table and kicked out. Not even, man. 
Uh, and then the go to Mercedes GTM. Let's see him. Holy shit. Put, put it like this. If CM Punk could kick that hard, I'll be an Edge fan. How about that? Ooh. Oh, ow. That's a, that's a, that's ow. Yeah, I'm saying something. We know that won't happen because CM Punk, because I can name about five people that could definitely kick harder than Punk ever. Bam Bam, Loki, Tajiri, X-Pac, and Amy Bryant. Wait, 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 Dooley, wait, Dooley. Five right off the bat. No, hold, wait, on, wait, hold, wait, on, hold on, hold on, Dooley. Wait, wait, wait. Have you actually guys seen some of those kicks on YouTube with Loki? God damn. Yes. My he mentioned kick. Loki. No, that's why you know I'm like, I said like, Loki. But I'm saying, I'm Loki saying, was I'm the like, first one that came to my mind. Loki's probably the only person that could kick harder than the Jerry and Van Dam. Right, right. Well, I, uh, you but my thing is, have you guys actually seen it? Like, like, like just have you seen all the kicks that he can do? Not just the hard, yes. how hard there's, he can kick, but also there's, every angle. Yeah, I've seen a lot of them in TNA. The one video I gotta find it for you guys. He all he does is just pure kicks in that video. Whoever edited that video is the man. <laughs> yes, he is. Even Daniel Bryan do some nice kicks, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, I'm five people off the top of my head right now that could probably kick harder than Punk. Although, it's not to say Punk's kicks are really made of paper mache. Let's let's. I'm not going to discount him there. Mm-hmm. Alberto versus John Cena was an awesome match. I mean, these guys went all around the building. They took it to the back. I just didn't believe that whole. <clears throat> Would you call it a fireman's carry into a drop, or what was that? When he dropped, when Cena picked up Del Rio and dropped him on his back. How would he? Uh, oh, oh, dropped him on the car. The GTM go to no, no. Mercedes. <laughs> right after, right after he got kicked. Him. Oh, mm, I wouldn't even call it a fireman's carry. I'd just call it a drop. Okay, well that that was pretty weak. Um, but what I'm trying to get at is a. Uh, what did you guys actually think or believe what was going to happen back there? I mean, obviously, we all knew CM Punk was going to come back. Oh, and the whole thing with Heyman, too. That's where I'm going to. My thing was this. I, I'll say this. I was not expecting the ending the way that happened last night. I I was like, yes, I knew it. <laughs> you know, like, I was like, what the fuck is, like, Paul Heyman, he's lying himself with Paul Heyman, but we. But my thing is, I knew he was going to, but that soon after taking out Triple H. Right. Mm. Oh, I was actually happy about Paul Heyman being back because it's like I know CM Punk said something about being a Paul Heyman guy during uh, that rant that he did, uh, that famous yeah. rant like uh, last year or so. Uh, and yeah, also... Yeah, people calling it a rant, not a pipe bomb. Which it would, never was. Well, it's a rant or pipe bomb, but uh, whatever. Who cares? So he <laughs> just did. But okay. But the one thing is that I was actually uh, reading uh, in a wrestling magazine. Uh, I think it was like the two and one like uh, wrestling magazine. Uh, I don't know if you guys like have it in your area, but um, but the one thing is that they had a uh, article about CM Punk actually uh, would actually uh, benefit from Paul Heyman being his manager, and then they also talked about having a few other guys, and uh, and uh, I think I posted this about a, about a week or two ago about, uh, about um, uh, the former uh, group that Paul Heyman made was called the uh, Dangerous Alliance, but then actually uh, this would be called uh, Dangerous Alliance 2.0. Mm-hmm. So uh, uh, this would actually be interesting because it's like just reading that article, just you know, kind of brought up that you know, uh, reading that article and stuff. I'm like, hmm, uh, this would be good having like Brock Lesnar with CM Punk uh, and a few other guys. And then I know that uh, uh, I think it was um, Maurice said that uh, all the guys have, like, big egos, but uh, who knows, it might work. But And, and, here, and here's another thing, and like I said, I, uh, you know, because I'm trying to build build up a story with the, the – I'm not trying to promote myself out there – the NWO storyline that I'm doing. The thing is, like, what they're doing now is awesome, having CM Punk 
Paul Heyman and maybe even Brock Lesnar, you know, forming some type of group, but also add guys who need that push, who who, who are very controversial. Like, right. say, I don't know, like, you know... Uh, uh, Dolph Ziggler might what you think. Eh, he's too busy with his grandma. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. I kind of thought... But, uh, you know, like JTG for his his tweet or, you know, somebody somebody unexpected, I hate to say it, like Kevin Nash. Hold, hold, hold on a minute. You're, you're, you're telling me that uh, you're not a, a, a Cougar fan? Just like good old Chris Robinson, Roe? Chris Robinson, who also stars every Thursday night after TNA here. On TNA recipe, who likes every cougar out there? Mm. Right. That's a cougar. Exactly. <laughs> like okay, like her, I'll, I'll say this like like my boy said. He's like if if Vicky didn't have that fucked up face, because <laughs> she she has the thighs. She has the thighs. See, no, I could, see I could my that. my my thing is why are you guys looking below the neck? She's already forty five, I believe. Hey, she has a good rack. Come on. Oh man. Who does? Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, here, okay, here's the challenge. Here, here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. Oh, uh-oh. You, you find me a decent picture of Vicky Guerrero, and if you like, I'll the next show I'll say, okay, she's hot. If, if, I, if you gotta find me a decent picture, but other than that. Mm. I don't do Dooling, Dooling, I know you're a single guy. Do you like uh, Vicky Guerrero? Mm, I don't think she's bad looking. Are you telling me if she showed up right now and said, Hi, Dooling, would you like to go out tonight? you will be like, See, sí, amiga. Man, not really. Man, I would rather find her daughter, uh, Raquel uh, at Diaz. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look in here, you little pervert. You need to chill out. <laughs> okay? Yeah, oh, uh, she, yeah she's just barely legal, legal dude. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, Paul. <laughs> hey, I will say, I will say her, her daughter, is, where Eddie and, and Vicky's are. Mm. Mm. Uh, she actually plays uh, a good uh, a psycho character on uh, NXT. Um, believe it or not, don't don't hate me, Paul, on this one. Please don't hate me on I this one. I know. But uh, I don't know. I, is, this, is there something wrong with her? I, I don't. Mm, she don't catch my attention. I'll admit, her lowrider days, oh, man. Mm. But now it's like her lowrider days. Oh man, when she used to pose for a lowrider, god damn. Now she got a little hefty, and it's like, mm. it uh, happened. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she lost. She lost it for me. So. But anyway, Paul, what are you doing back there? Huh? What are you doing back there? Uh, I'm going on to the free forum zone that Divas website I told you guys about before. I uh, trying to find a decent picture of Vicky Guerrero, but then I'm just only kidding. Oh, okay, just checking. I heard pockets moving around, <laughs> things jiggling. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You got that lube going? No, not on duty. I think I was probably watching something, eh? <laughs> I don't know, dude. We're not PG or anything. I'm just saying. I mean, at least put your phone on mute or something. Wait, wait. My people. <laughs> oh, oh, all right, to get us off this subject. You know, L, you know what I'm happy about, about this whole CM Punk, Paul Heyman union? Well, before you start, start that, I thought you were going to say you were happy because going down tomorrow night live from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, or PA, good old Maurice goes live and direct. For those yep. of you that got uh, Twitter, make sure to follow us on WCC Live or go to Facebook.com slash group slash for something commentary central and check out Maurice's show coming down live tomorrow night. But go ahead. Yeah. You know what I'm happy about with CM Punk joining Paul Heyman? Now I can hate. Now I can fully hate CM Punk <laughs> guilt free <laughs> Because as much as I hate that tattoo, greasy, you want to be Chicago, Chicago 
Oh, Lord, I don't want to diss the city of Chicago because I actually like them. But you know what? That, now, I'm going to call him something different. I'm going to call him that Springfield sissy, and that's right. I said <laughs> Springfield because, let's be real, only tough people are from Chicago. Ooh. Yeah, because – Mm. Yeah, and guess what? Anybody else that says they rep Chicago, yeah, we all know y'all from Springfield or Moline or somewhere in there. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and not only that, but then I get an extra added bonus because now he's with that oversized, loud mouthed bagels and locks eating, eating psycho, you want to be yuppie Heyman, who I have never who I have never not, not since his um, Dangerous Alliance days and beforehand. So I'm like, this, this for me is like, this for me is like paradise because now I get to hate two of the loudest mouths in one shot. Mm. I just like to say WCC's overload is not responsible for any claim or recipitation brought to you by MauriceBorges.com. Or anybody else for that matter. <laughs> And, and, and when I'm on the street and you and y'all are from Chicago and you heard this, 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 this right here, do not swing anything my way. I did not say that shit. Y para toda hey. gente y para toda gente mi latina, por los que están oyendo esta estación, toda la gente que dice las cosas de Morris es cosas de él hey. y no son mías. Gracias. Hey, let's clear this sí. up. Sí. I, sí, I knocked everybody I don't outside know. of, of sí. Chicago. That's right. Hey, He's that's at one, two, three, Fifth Street. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and L, I'm in Philly, not in Pittsburgh. <laughs> okay, my bad. Then, yeah, and by the way, like I said, Chicago, y'all, I like everybody outside of Chicago. Yeah, y'all the ones that I might have an issue with <laughs> after this episode. So, 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 so let me get this straight. So you don't like anything that come out of Chicago? Um, Even Jordan? No, hold on now. Oh, oh. no. Jordan, well, my dude. Oh, oh. If you're going to throw Jordan in there, dude, you're going to throw Sammy Sosa in there, too. Come on. At one time, hold he on. was like. <laughs> hold on now. MJ, my number one. Uh, MJ's my dude. Hold on. See, he actually was in Chicago. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you saying you, you lay in Chicago. I said everybody <laughs> outside of Chicago. <laughs> like I said, like Springfield, Moline, um, Joliet, and uh, I – Damn, I used to know the whole state at one point in time, but now I okay, forgot somewhere. I, 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 just, just make, make it clear. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me throw Rosemont. Y'all excluded too because the Bulls used to play there. The, um, <laughs> I forgot about the – yeah, see, I forgot about the um, like the old bill before the United Center came about. So. Mm-mm. Same with – See, that's because I forgot about that. That's why I forgot when I was like, wait a minute. Didn't the Bulls have, yeah, the Bulls had like another arena they played in before. And I was like, uh, yeah, that's right. So I may have to exclude one more city. Oh. But that's right, everybody. Don't forget, uh, going down tomorrow night, Maurice goes live and direct in front of your YouTube channels. Subscribe to uh, Spawn 2011 number three. And don't forget to follow him and everybody else. On the WCC family at WCC Live. Maurice, you're a Chicago hater. Why? Hey, hey I said outside of Chicago. Oh, like my bad, my bad. Well, that was my bad. Whoops. Yeah, the actual city I like. Oh, okay. Well, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just trying to get some hate mail around. <laughs> I'm not just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be directed. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll direct it all to you. I'll just, I'll just scratch my name off and put your name on it instead. Make sure you send those letters to 123 Mexico. Thank you. But uh, <laughs> moving on. Uh, what else is next? Uh, TNA goes live uh, this Thursday night again. Why? Why, Sean? Why? Because that's the next next best thing. Why? Bound for glory. Oh, yeah. That's Series right. finale. Yep. You yep, know what? Let's, have... let's, let's handle this right now. Let's handle this. Who's going to win this series and why? It's truth be told, L, we really don't know because, remember, we don't even know what the matches are going to be like as far as – well, but we so know far... the matches that are coming up tomorrow, but, but remember so – far... But so far, I mean, you don't Whoever have one. Whoever gets that number one 
Because, like I said, I don't know if Storm's going to hold on, if he's going to pick, or if Joe is going to win his match and overtake him and wind up wind up getting picked. Uh, right. I mean, does anybody stand out in this whole Bound for Glory series? Uh, Kurt Angle. Let's Kurt Angle? Angle. Yeah, Wait, Kurt's Angle? out, dude. Whoa. Yeah, Kurt's out. Yeah. Oh, you or know? did you mean like stand out, not like oh, they're eliminated? Yeah, 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 yeah stand out. Yeah, it's just down to James Storm, Samoa Joe, RVD, Jeff Hardy, and Bully Ray. Those are the only ones. And there. Jeff Hardy, either, either Van Dam or Bully Ray is probably going to get eliminated. But, by the way, uh, is this Bully Ray's last match in TNA, by the way? Uh, if, I don't think so will be it. I think if he's not coming back, he's probably going to finish a bounce of glory. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Paul Martin, Paul Martin, have you been following TNA? Uh, somewhat every now and then, but I'm not really a TNA. You pervert! That's a no. <laughs> you got that equal pervert. with the other type of TNA. No, see, 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 me and Paul. Oh, Martin, oh, oh. See, hey, I follow kids and ass. I just don't follow TNA as much, but okay. <laughs> okay, put your mic back up when you say that. But anyways. Me and Paul, we have this connection where we just talk shit to each other sometimes. But then again, we're like brothers like that. But yeah. Okay. Of course. That's why. Yeah, it, might, it might sound like I'm picking on him and everything, but no. No, no. Nah. It's, like, like, it's like, you pervert. Is like, it for entertainment purposes? Oh, no, no, no. This is reality. I know he ain't picking on me. It's all cool. It's all fun. It's just having a good old cheeky time. By the way, cheekies right. are... Thin. Okay, cheek, Sean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyways, guys, seriously, like, who 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 are we taking on this on the Bound for Glory series? I mean, I'm a I'm gonna go with the obvious choice, James Storm. I'm gonna say Storm. Considering the fact that he gets to pick his opponent, and it, it, I think it might be getting to the point that unless Samoa Joe starts getting submissions left and right, I I as he he needs to keep he needs to start getting submission victories left and right. I think. No. And make no, sure that if Joe wins, period, Thursday night, he gets to he overtakes Storm. But it's Ooh. either Storm. Now is that Joe's last period, match? That Joe's last match in the Bounce Glory no, series? Everybody's last match. Yeah, uh, this this week. I is still it. think and okay, but I still think Storm's going to win because who say who say Joe might lose his semifinal match, or even if he gets to the semi or even if he gets to the finals, that Storm doesn't beat him. I'm still picking Storm. Ah. Uh. Uh, I don't, now I got to remember how to point. The only one that can really get eliminated, the only th- three that can get eliminated, are Ray, Hardy, and Van Dam. Because Hardy and the because I think Hardy's like has what fifty or so points. Yeah, so he's like yeah, five Hardy's back of Van Dam and Bully Ray. Yeah, Hardy's in the basement, so he needs to win to mm-hmm. guarantee he's in. Mm. Joe is in. Storm and Joe are both in, but Joe needs to beat Hardy to vault to ahead overtake of Storm. Storm. Have the so yeah. There's a lot of things at stake here. Either Hardy will guarantee himself in the Bound for Glory series, or Joe will take the lead in the Bound for Glory series. With either Bully Ray or Van Dam, more than likely, whoever loses, uh, if. If they're not eliminated, they're, they they still really have no shot in winning it anyway. Right. Well, well, we also got to think. Let's see how each because we also got to think. We don't know how either match is going to go down. Like it exactly. Was order, because exactly. technically, you can have RVD and Bully Ray go at it first, and then yeah, remember because and this is what I was talking with Row last week on the recipe. Whoever, I'd say this, somebody interfering in one of these two men, and it's going to cause, it's going to cause an elimination. Probably. Another race is Nate's interference, maybe? No, I mean, I mean, let's say if RVD wins, I say Bully Ray's going to come down, screw Hardy, and like, boom, that'll knock him, that'll knock Jeff out. Or if, let's say, um... Hardy, yeah, Hardy and Joe go first, then 
all right, Hardy wins, then he's gonna come. He's gonna come down and um. Yeah, then he's gonna come down and like probably knock out Ray or RVD. Just to, just to make sure that uh they're out. Right. And probably. And then again, you know, Storm could come down and inter- screw Joe over just to make sure he keeps first pick. We shall see. Yeah, like we I said, shall one see. Of those three, totally a possibility. One of those three, yeah, one of those three, I would tell you this right now. Take whatever money you have, yo, take whatever money you have, go out to Las Vegas, put it down, I guarantee you, one of them three will happen. It's like... Split it up all three ways, you you bound to get something on it. Well, what about the loss? How much will the loss? Well, how much will the will the uh, other well, two think, losses that you have be? Well, that you depends on how much. Well, that depends on how much you put on them two that you lose. Because pretty much, yeah, the worst you got to worry about is just take it straight. Yeah, just take it straight up. So if you like only put like ten and ten a piece, then guess what? You're only losing. You're only losing twenty bucks total. It, it, and it re- well, like you said, it really depends on on the uh, on the line, I guess, so to speak. Hmm. On the uh, anyway, you were saying. Wow, 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 gentlemen, 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 start your engines. Why? Because it's time to go. No, I didn't say goal. I said go. <laughs> Uh, gentlemen, don't forget, everybody else, Wrestling World, follow us on Twitter at WCC Live. And don't forget to check out us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash Wrestling Commentary Central. My name is El Cibernético, along with Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, before we go, we got a special show going down tomorrow night. Yes, we do. Our rocking Three. brother himself. Rockin All the way from not Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, mother. F- you know what I mean? Going down right. tomorrow night. Maurice, tell us all about it. Yeah, tomorrow night is going to be the pilot episode of my new show, R- Rumbling with Rock and Reese. And Uh-oh. basically, I am talking about anything and everything in the wrestling world because. We are going to get us back to, we are going to bring this to everybody, independent. We're going to the mainstream. We're talking, we're talking men's wrestling. We're talking women's wrestling. Basically, we're going to give it the whole landscape. And plus, and plus, um, plus also I will be promoting um, national events going on throughout the, throughout the country. And, um, Canada and Mexico, if y'all got something going on, and if I run into y'all on Facebook, I'll be more than happy to promote y'all too. I'll also be promoting uh, groups here on wrestling groups here on Facebook, especially um, my number one WCC. Oh, well, because that's a, yeah, because y'all know I got to start with y'all first. Because <laughs> that's been my home for the last like uh, almost two years, and it's been like um, yeah, basically. Basically, what we're gonna do is that um, just have everybody come, come on, and voice your opinions. Yeah, let's make this the old, the ultimate wrestling, ultimate wrestling review. It's rumbling with Rock and Reese. It'll be. Uh, but I do want to clarify that tomorrow I will not be taking callers because I know we'll be uh, busy. I know everybody will be um, checking out NFL kickoff, and uh, it'll be probably running late here on the. What's cause so I'll be actually coming going live after the game's over. But Shout out to the all the Cowboy Wednesday fans out be, there. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, LC Ronaldo is a Cowboy fan there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, probably guess. But um, but uh, the following Wednesday and every Wednesday after, I will be live at ten east, ten p.m. Eastern every Wednesday night. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. For more shows, always check out. WCC on Twitter at WCC Live and add us on Facebook at facebook.com slash group slash wrestling commentary central. Uh, for Maurice Dueling, Paul Martin, good old Sean. Good old me. Good old me. 
Good old Sean. Watch yeah. out, ladies. He will steal your boyfriend. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's a bullshit right there. <laughs> by the way, everybody check out. <laughs> by the way, everybody check out WCC Bra. Also going live and direct, always on the WCC wall at facebook.com slash group slash Wesley Commentary Central. The WCC Fantasy League still continues on until October 1st, the playoffs, which, by the way, shout out to Leanne for being the first female world champion. Yay. Bravo. Yay. WCC champion. WCC champion, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Well, you're and, away. and yours truly, El Cibernetico, at number 10. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm at, yeah, I'm stuck at 14. Shout well, out to everybody who's playing the Fantasy League, and go ahead, Maurice, before I cut you off. And, yeah, I'll just make sure we, you check us out, because we're taking over. We're almost on every night of the week, except, for, except Fridays, but we're working on that one, though, kids. For everybody and everybody around the world, thank you guys, good night, and we will see you mañana with Maurice. Rock and Reese. Yeah. Keep on slamming, y'all. Yeah. That's it, Sean? You're just going to say yup and just close it out like that? Just yup. No. No, I was just, no, just going to let you speak. I mean, I'm... I, you're, you're, no, 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 no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. Make it a good one. In three, two, one. Now, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. You know, all I'm just saying is... Good night. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Good night, everybody. I have one more thing to say, and I have a special pipe bomb, and it's really random. John Cena goes James Bond lobbying for Raisin Bran, for he is now allergic to fruity pebbles. Good day. And Daniel Bryan says, and Daniel Bryan's response to whether or not Bran flakes are delicious. No! 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 That is all. WCC is not responsible for Brandon Dooley's comments. Oh, by the way, <laughs> Luigi, by the way, Luigi of the Mario Brothers is suing him for copy, for copyright infringement, and his lawyer is David Otunga. And I personally think Mario should have done that last year before WrestleMania 27. WCC is not responsible for Brandon Dooley's comments, or WCC is not responsible for WCC Fantasy League, or anything that has to do with Dan, Brandon Dooley. <laughs> And one more, Obama. and one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, that I always say: say no to brand flakes. Say no once to brand flakes. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Dolan is not responsible for anything that's been said on WCC Radio or WCC Uncommon, Uncensored Show, or Overload. Thank you very much. Good night. Night.